I'm Dave Gunyer, owner of That's Biz. I'm going to show you how to create a Facebook page for your restaurant in only a few minutes. When we're done, you'll have a Facebook page ready for your customers to become fans. The great thing about Facebook and Twitter is they're free to use. So let's get started. To create a page, you must first be a Facebook user. If you are not, set up a Facebook user account at www.facebook.com. When you're logged in, scroll to the bottom of the screen and find the word Advertising and click on it. At the top of the next screen, the Facebook Advertising screen, click on the word Pages. Here you'll find Facebook's instructions to set up a page. Let's just jump right in and click on Create a Page. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to select the category of our business. We're going to indicate that we're a local business and we're a restaurant from the drop-down list. Now here's an important point. Be careful what you name your page or the name of your restaurant because there's no way to change it once you save. We're going to name our restaurant Your Restaurant, and our recommendation is to use just your restaurant name and not indicate an address in the restaurant name. There may be more than one restaurant with your name, but don't worry about that. There will be other ways for customers to find you and to search your restaurant out. At the bottom of the page, you see the security information that Facebook requires to create your Facebook page. The first is to make sure that a human being is creating the account and the second is that you're the authorized person for this page. If you can't read these words you can merely click on try different words and find the words that you can read. And once again we need to indicate that we're the authorized user to create this page. The name that we're going to type in is the name our username for our Facebook account and we'll click on create page. Okay, we've created our page. Now we just need to fill in some basic information and we've got our Facebook page ready to go for customers. The first thing we want to do is we want to add a profile photo. I'm going to click on the question mark instead of the change picture and you'll see why it'll bring up a spot where we can say change our profile picture let's click on it and here we're going to upload the picture this picture will show up on our Facebook page this is what our customers will see every time they visit our Facebook fan page you can use any kind of image for your Facebook fan page but we recommend to use your company logo from a branding perspective so let's browse for the company logo on our hard drive. Here it is here. We're going to double click to select it and we're going to indicate that we have the right to use our logo. Let's upload the picture. We find that graphics and logos that are taller than wider work the best mainly for your thumbnail as you can see your thumbnail and we'll see later why those are important and what uh, where that thumbnail shows up. So we've got our profile photo and we've got our thumbnail looks good so let's go to basic information. On the basic information we're going to add our address and our hours. So I'm just going to add a quick address here for our location And the one thing I did want to show you on city and state is that we're in Orlando, Florida. So you can see as we type, it will bring up cities and states. Makes it easier just to select the location. Let's put in our zip code and our phone number. and here we can put in our hours and you can see that we can actually have two sets of hours for each day. So we're going to put in our hours. 
Notice when I click on time and I start putting in the first couple of digits, it will make an assumption for the time, makes it easier to select from AM and PM so we don't make a mistake. We'll say we're open from 10 AM to 10 PM. Let's just select it. Now we'll complete in the rest of the days. Okay, we've input Monday through Saturday. For Sunday, we're going to indicate closed by just unchecking the box and it assumes closed. Let's save our changes. We get an indication that our changes have been saved. Here we have the opportunity to put in some detailed information about our restaurant. We can put on the website. Do we have preferred attire? What payment options do we have? Do we want to give some information about our culinary team? General manager, parking, whether or not there's public transportation, the price range, services, specialties. So let's take and we'll fill that in for our restaurant. Let me scroll back to the top. We'll put it in our website. We'll specify that it's casual. We take Visa, American Express, MasterCard, and Discover. We're not going to list a culinary team or a general manager. We'll indicate that we do have a parking lot. Scroll down a little bit further. Public transit is not really applicable. Price range will indicate a price range. And we'll say that we're great for takeout. We do catering. We've got outdoor seating. We're good for kids. And we offer delivery as well. Our specialties are lunch and dinner. And we're going to save our changes. There you go. We have now created a basic setup for our restaurant. Let's go and scroll up to your restaurant and we're going to click on and see what it looks like. And we've now created our Facebook fan page. We're not quite done yet because we still need to publish our page, but let's take a quick peek at how it looks. Here's our graphic image that we loaded, which is our company logo. We're going to click on Info, and here's the information that we input. We've got the address, our store hours, and then some information about some of the detailed information that we provided earlier. Let's go back to the wall, and we're going to scroll to the top of the page. And the last thing that we need to do is we're going to publish this page. Right now, this page is not visible to our customers. We're going to click on Publish, and now we know we're published. It's always a good idea to become a fan of your own site by clicking on Become a Fan, and as soon as you click on Become a Fan, it's an immediate process. There's no approval to become a fan of your location. So let's click on Become a Fan, and the fan button disappears. We're now part and a fan of our restaurant. We're going to click to home on our page. We'll click on our profile page and you can see on our wall that I've just become a fan of your restaurant. That's it. You're ready to go. I want to thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful and we'll have other videos that will help you get the most out of both Facebook and Twitter. Again, thanks for watching.